Miguel Cairo takes over at first for Josh Phelps. You see Bruni's numbers. They're impressive. 19 hits in 27 innings and 24 strikeouts. And there's Cairo. Deep drive, left center field, giving Chase Cabrera on the run, on the track, at the wall, makes the play. Takes an extra base hit away from Ronnie Paulino. Another try from Malky. This time he has to come in. And there's two away. Your field or in the outfield that's either up against the wall or it's going to be out of the ballpark. So he said the more shallow you can play, the more balls you're going to catch. Runner goes. Pitch is high. Throw to second. Not in time. Stolen base for Duffy. Duffy now is 11th stolen base in 13 attempts this year. And Bautista walks, so two straight, two out walks. And that brings up Freddy Sanchez, the National League defending batting titleist, has a tying run. And the 0 2. He struck him out. Another slider. So two walks, and Bruni comes back to strike out the National League batting titleist from last year. No runs, no hits, no errors, and two men left on base at the end of six and a half. It's time for the seventh inning stretch here at Yankee Stadium. The uh, story of this game was Roger Clemens coming back. He gave the Yankees six innings, three-run baseball, and the Pirates will go to their third pitcher. Mahalam started, Graybo, and now Tony Armas Jr. And you see those numbers, Michael, not very good. He was he was brought in to be one of the starters, and now here he is in the bullpen. But any time threw the ball in the mid 90s consistently. Driven out to left center field. Could be trouble on the run as Duffy can't make the play. And Cano will get himself a leadoff double. He's two for four. That's Cano's 18th double of the year. That one's bunted straight up in the air. And a nice play by Paulino. So Cairo does not get the job done. That's the right. fundamentals are on flashy, as you said. Line drive, base hit to left field. Jason Bay fields. They're going to hold Cano right there. And a bad throw gets past everybody. And here comes Cano. He will score. And Cabrera advances the third. Yankees lead 7 to 3. Talking about fundamentals, the Pirates have been awful in these two games. Of uh, just making pitches and hoping to get somebody out. Ground ball fielded there by LaRose. He comes home, not in time. And he didn't step on the bag to make matters worse. And the Yankees up eight to three. Long. We used to call it pacifiers. We all know it. Now they're binkies. <laughs> this could be two. There's one. And there's two. But the Yankees get two insurance runs, two runs on two hits. No errors and nobody left on base. We played seven at the stadium. Yankees lead the Pirates eight to three. Roach and Xavier Nady. You see Farnsworth's numbers. Strikeout to walk ratio. The two two. High fly ball left field. Matsui's there. One away. Keep it in the zone and utilize your off speed pitch. Because it's difficult for hitters to hit 96. So they're oh, I thought we'd throw it harder. Yeah. Line right at A-Rod, two away. Swing wow. and a miss. And that was an off-speed pitch and Domit down on strike. Boy. So a scoreless inning for Kyle Farnsworth. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Bottom of the eighth inning. Yankees eight and Pirates three. It's exciting being with the Yankees. It's, it, it's always the event. There's something going on. And when there's something going on, I mean, it's. And that got him. He gets hit a lot on that left elbow. That's why he has that pad there. So he is hit by a pitch runners on first and second. But that actually hit. One, two. High fly ball, right field. Domitz there. He'll put it away. Tagging is Abreu. The throw goes all the way to third, but Bautista comes up to cut it off. And there's one away. Upper running game, I'll take that. Given the center field, Duffy is there. He'll make the catch. Tagging is Abreu. He'll score easily. 
It's a sack fly for Matsui, and the Yankees lead 9-3. Doing a lot of things to keep the runners not going. Line drive right field, a base hit. That'll move A-Rod to second. And for Kanoa's third hit of the day. Soft ground ball is short. Wilson fields across the diamond, and uh, that will do it for the Yankees here in the eighth. But they score one run on one hit. No errors and two men left. Vesak will play third base. Ninth inning, 9-3 nine, Yanks. For the Yankees, the fourth they will use today, Luis Vizcaino. Clemens went six, Bruni one, Farnsworth one, and Vizcaino, they hope, goes one. Sometimes I, could, I couldn't do it. Swing and a miss. Paulino down on strikes. Not even the slightest itch. And I, I for him to. Wilson with a fly ball to right. Abreu's there, and the Yankees are one out away from their fifth straight win. Injuries get the pitching staff kind of lined up the way they had drawn it up beforehand. Punched out to left field, a base hit for Chris Duffy as he keeps it alive for the Pirates. And the 2-2. He struck him out. Ball game over. And the Yankees win 9-3. In the ninth inning for the Pirates, no runs a hit and one man left. 9-11-0 Yankees, 3-6-2 Pirates. And Joe Torre manages Roger Clemens for his second tour of duty and for Torre's 2002nd career victory as a manager. And for Roger Clemens, his 349th career victory so Clemens was steady not spectacular by any stretch but he did his job and he gave them what qualifies as a, as a quality start and Major League Baseball counts that as a stat that's six innings and three runs and that's exactly what Clemens gave them Pirates scored in the first they scored two in the fourth but when Clemens left the game uh, the Yankees had a six to three lead they built it to nine three and uh, they have won their fifth game in a row starting with the Tuesday in Chicago and also, they've now won their third series in a row. They beat the Red Sox two out of three. They beat the White Sox three out of four. Now they've taken the first two games of this Pirate series, so they have this one as well. So the Yankees win nine to three. And Kim Jones settling in front of the dugout and looks like she got herself a pretty big starter interview. 